Alright guys, this is part one of how to put snake skins on the back of your longbow. Alright, so here's the equipment we're going to be using today. First thing you need, of course, is a bow. Uh, this is a mulberry bow. I believe I called it maple in the last video, but it is actually mulberry. You're going to need some skins. In this case, we're using copperhead. You're going to need some glue. I prefer this glue. It's tight bond liquid hide wood glue. Things up really easy with water and the skins just seem to love it. And you're going to need some water. Now this is just warm. This is not hot. It's not cold. Warm. And you're going to need your paper towels because in case you make a mess. Optional equipment. One or two of these. I am not in product placement. I have nothing to do with Shinerbach. It just happens to be what I prefer. Okay. Again, that's optional, so if you need 21, don't give me any crap about it. Now, first step, take your skins. Roll them up. Roll them up. Just nothing fancy. Actually, just roll them up separately. Roll them up. Don't make them too tight. Drop them in the water. Let's get them in there. Second one, roll it up. Get it in the water. The roll them up is optional. If you've got a great big bucket that you want to do this in instead, you just knock yourself out. You don't have to roll them up. Just make sure that they get nice and saturated wet. Alright, now you take these and you set them aside. Alright, step two. We're going to do what's called sizing the bow. And what that is, is this is raw wood. There's, there's no sealant, there's nothing on it. This was a log that was split and is now carved into a bow. It's got the tiller I want. It's basically done. I could put a finish on this and go hunting tomorrow or I could, I could even not put a finish on it, frankly. It's just, it's, it's susceptible to weather. When it's susceptible to weather, what that means is it's going to absorb moisture. So what we want to do, glue, I'm not even sure what's in this stuff, but basically it's a liquid, which means this raw wood is going to absorb some of the liquid. What will happen is, if you don't size the bow first, you put the glue on and then you put the skin on and the wood absorbs the glue and you get these bare spots where the glue has been absorbed. So what we're going to do to prevent that from happening is put a small amount of glue wherever we're going to put the skins. As you can see, the riser ends there. So that's where my first bit of glue is going to go. You just put a nice line. You don't have to use a lot here, but you need enough to cover. I'm also going to leave some space off the end of this bow. Uh, because the skin isn't going to reach. So now you just smooth it out over the bow like that. Now if you're going to go over the sides and keep the skin down here, you got to glue down there too. But I'm not, I'm just going to do the back. I'm not going to wrap the skin around the bow. Going almost to the tip, but not quite. And now I'm just going to make sure I got glue everywhere I want the skin to be. I'm just going to get the curve on it a little bit. Just like the edge. It's a nice rounded edge, but I don't want the skin to curl up because there wasn't enough glue there. This is a very light coat of glue as well, by the way. What's nice about doing such a nice light coat of glue, it dries really fast. And you want it to be tacky and right to the point before it completely dry when you apply the next coat. Alright, I'm going to do that to the other limb now. I'm just going to do it real quick, see where it ends, right at that little, what was a knot. I 
guess it still was a knot. Here we go. There's one line of glue. Spread it here. Spread it out. Now this is just to make it so that whatever glue I put on next to actually glue the skins down isn't absorbed by the wood. This glue is going to be, if it's going to get absorbed, it's going to be this coat of glue that's absorbed. That's the idea. Don't worry about it running over the sides at this point. You're not using, you shouldn't be using a lot of glue, but even if you do have a little extra run over the side, you're going to sand it off before it's done anyway. So it's not a big deal. Okay. Skins are soaking nice, they're already getting soft. How long do you wait? Well, depends where you are and what your climate's like. If you're in a really, really humid climate, uh, it's going to take longer for this stuff to dry. If you're living in the desert like I am, it dries pretty quick. My rule of thumb, the optional equipment. When you're done with this, you're ready to go on to the next step. Alright, come back for part two. Or maybe it's three.